Hey art friends, check out my cool new blue table. It's awesome, I love it. I hope you guys like it too. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Now, the reason why I have a blue table and I'm drawing by myself is to get to more of your requests. Each week we do five lessons, but we get way more requests than that. So this is to try to get to more of your requests. I'm gonna try to do more lessons. If I do them by myself, it'll be on the blue table. And if I do the lesson with one of my kids, it'll be on the red table. I just thought it would be fun to change it up when I'm doing the lessons by myself. So today we're drawing another Pokemon. We haven't done a Pokemon in a long time. That's because we get so many requests. So hopefully we'll get to a lot more Pokemon, a lot more Fortnite, and a lot more of all of the other requests that we've gotten. So you'll need a marker, and some paper and we're going to use colored pencils at the end to color our Pichu to make them look even cooler. First step we're going to draw is Pichu's eyes. We're going to draw two ovals in the middle of our paper and we, we're going to tip them. So at the very top we're going to tip them in towards the middle. Draw two ovals. Now when I'm drawing by myself remember I might go too fast because we're not waiting for one of my kids to finish the step. So if you ever need more time to finish a step, remember you can always pause the video. At the top, let's draw another circle for the highlight. And this is in each eye, and this makes his eyes look shiny. Then we're going to color in the big oval, but leave the little circle white. Now let's draw his nose. It's just a little dash right in the middle in between his eyes. Then we're going to draw his mouth. We're going to draw him happy. Now let's draw his head. We're going to draw a big oval shape that goes around, but we're not going to complete it at the top. So here we go. We're going to start right above his eye, and we're going to draw a big oval that comes around like this. And it's going to come around to the other side and end in the same spot, but on the right. All right, now we can draw the top of his head. We're going to leave a little gap on each side, and we're going to complete the shape, or the oval. So the whole thing should look like a big, giant oval. Now we can draw his cheeks. We're going to draw two more ovals. We're going to draw them pointing out. We're going to draw an oval here, and it's touching the side of his cheek. And we'll draw an oval over here exactly the same, but aim the other direction. Cool. Now let's draw his ears. We're going to draw two lines coming out of the top of his head, one on each side of that gap. Then we're going to draw a big upside down V to connect these two lines. We're going to come up and out and then connect back to the other side. Cool, there's one shape. Now let's draw that same shape, repeat the same steps over here on the other side. So we want those lines to be about the same height and we're going to do the same thing over here. Then we're going to draw that big upside down V to connect them. All right, we did it. Good cake. All right, now we can draw the design inside of his ears. So up here, we're going to just draw a small V. We're going to come down right down the middle of his ear, and we're going to draw that small V. We can do the same thing over here since we're repeating the same steps. And then we're going to draw, it looks like a big giant M when we're done. We're going to draw diagonal lines that come down, and look how that line matches the outside of his ear. This line matches the outside there too. And we'll do the same thing over here and on this side. Now we're going to color the outside black, but we'll do that at the end. Now let's draw his body. We're going to draw two curves coming out from the bottom of his chin. We'll draw a big curve like this and another curve over here on this side too. That matches. Now in between, let's draw. We're going to draw a curve that looks like it's going up and then back down and we don't want to connect. We're going to leave a gap just like we did up here on his head. Now let's draw his feet. We're going to draw a big oval shape that comes out and then back in. And we'll do the same thing over here on the other side. There we go. Connect it back in. Our Pichu right now is symmetrical. If you were to draw a line right down the middle and fold it in half, it would be the same. He's got the same ear on the left and the right, same eyes and same feet, but his arms are going to be different. So we're going to draw one arm facing up and one down. First, let's start by drawing a line coming out from his head. Then we're going to draw a little upside down U for his thumb. Then we'll draw another line that comes out for the rest of his hand. And then we're going to connect it back in for his arm. There we go. That was pretty easy. 
Now we're going to do the same thing but upside down over here. So we'll draw a line coming down like this. Then we're going to come back in for that little part on his hand. Then we'll draw a U shape for his thumb and then connect it back into his body. Now let's come down here and actually add his toes. We left those off. So we need to add two curves on each foot to split his toes. So we're going to draw another two curves over here on his right foot too. There we go. That was pretty easy. Now let's draw his tail. We're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out and then down. Then we're going to draw another diagonal line that comes up and this one is close to the, to the first one we drew and then we're going to draw we're going to stop short so it's thicker on the rest of his tail and then connect it in. Alright, we're almost done. We've finished his tail, but he has a little design around his neck and on his chest. So right here under his chin, we're going to draw a small V. Then we're going to draw a big V that comes down, back up, and we'll repeat that same step over here on the other side. All right, we did it. We finished drawing Pichu. He looks awesome, except we still need to color him. Now this part I'm going to fast forward, but at the end you can pause it again to match the same coloring. All right, we did it. We finished coloring Pichu. He looks so much better colored in. So hope you're going to take the time to pause the video and match the same coloring. I used pink for his cheeks, yellow for his whole body, and this light pink to add an extra highlight at the bottom of his eyes to make him look even shinier. Now it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like mine because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. I promise the second time you draw Pichu, he'll turn out even better than the first time. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the cool new blue table. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.